Hi, I'm Kaya Lalo in the DIG 3043 Evolution of Video Games course. Today I'll be playing Kalak, a 1991 PC game self-developed by Sergei Ryzkov. This game was passed around as freeware on 3-inch floppy disks. Dosguy from RGB Classic Games attributes the game's free nature to Ryzkov living and producing the game in the former Soviet Union and not seeing very much potential for commercial viability of the game. Um, this game is a lot like Mancala or Wari, which was brought up previously in the board game section of the course. Mancala and Wari date back to 1400 BC, yet this game was actually based off of another sewing game or agricultural game uh, known as Kala or Kalak, which is very similar to the title. Um, the game's uh, objective is to get as many of the coins in as you possibly can in your bank. Once a coin reaches your bank or your kalak, they stay there. So essentially you, much like Mancala, you pick up a, a row. Let, let me bring the mouse over to the row. And I'm going to start off with the, the last row, the sixth row, so I could, you know, land my final coin in my bank. If you land your final coin in the stack in your own, in your bank, you're allowed a second, a second turn, essentially. And if you land a coin on an empty slot in which your opponent has coins in, you get all of your opponent, opponent's coins into your bank. So this is a very, it's actually a, a very complex game that seems pretty simple. Um, I grew up with Moncala and I love Moncala, but this is extremely, it's a, it's a, quite a riff on Moncala. It's, it's got more coins per pit. And I believe it may even have more pits. I believe Mancala may only have five. I'm not 100% certain, though. This game, you play against uh, this little robot or astronaut, whatever it is, in the corner. You don't know exactly what it is, but you know it's named Ginny. That's your opponent. Um, this game can be played for money. Uh, it's apparently a gambling game. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but in the end it actually has a di differential and lets you know how much you lost by. And a couple sites I saw actually uh, brought up the idea that that may inhibit or enable gambling. Uh, I'm going to start off the game just so I can demonstrate a little bit of how it works in actual gameplay. I'm going to turn the uh, volume up. Uh, I don't think it really has volume, really. Uh, I'm going to start with this uh, stack right here. You see I landed it, the last coin in the bank, so I've got another turn. Um, I could drop this stack, but uh, I think I'm going to drop this stack. Cool. Ginny, the opponent, has a turn. And right now, I'll put this coin here, and I'm stumped from that for now. So I'll go up to the game tab. See, so you can load your game, you can save your game. Uh, this seems a little bit different from, you know, the Atari where the games were pretty, you know, set. I mean, more arcade-like. This is actually, you know, you can save your games. You can, you can actually have a a profile which you know you pick up and put down uh, but I'm gonna hit hint see what the computer says my be my best move is ooh so I'm gonna hit this eight eight stack of coins and see what happens for that from there uh, doesn't look like I have too much uh, you know I'm just gonna hit this nine stack see what happens from there wow it seems like my opponent and I are pretty tied. One, two, this won't work. Um, 
don't really have too many options. Gonna go up here and hit hint again. Well, again, this is a game you really have to think about and sit on, so it's probably not the best for a short five minute video, but it's interesting, it's fun, and I've spent, you know, must be two or three hours trying to get this game down pat, and I still, I've only won one game out of probably 10 or 12. Hit that stack. Cool. Um, don't really have much I can do. Uh, hit this 11 stack, see what that does for me. Oh, I'm starting to lose pretty badly. <laughs> um, see what this 6 does. I think I might end up, yep, I ended up there. Um, hit that 3, I'll end up there. Hit that 2, I get that. Cool, I'm actually not doing too bad. But yeah, this one, two, three, four, I'll end up in the bank. End up in the bank. One, two. Cool, cool. Wow, that wasn't good. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty enjoyable game. I ended finished off the game but still lost by eight this is what i was talking about you know if you wanted to gamble and that was your inclination you could probably gamble with this i i'm not sure i'm not a gambler myself but yeah it's an interesting game i definitely recommend it it's a great riff on moncala i mean i can foresee myself playing this you know game after game after game for days but <laughs> I'm going to stop the video now and let you, you guys be off on your day and hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys give the game a try. Oh. See if I can end this. 